break with yours truly. I'm the one and only. I go by the name of Mr. Telefero. Please make sure you're following me on Instagram at is Mr. Telefero. So we got a new album from the leader of the trap, Future Future. Yo, slowly but surely, the leader of the trap, Future, is starting to become the leader of the love language. New album for Future called High Off Life in the Atmosphere right now. I have listened to most of the project. I like to reserve my my, my opinions on music uh, because I like to hear it in, in clubs, cars, all that stuff before I get my opinion. I probably won't be able to listen to it in a club right now because of the pandemic, but definitely let me play that bad boy in the car. And, and for Future's music specifically, I know there's been a couple of projects that I didn't like out the gate that, I, that grew on me and became some of my favorite music out. So I definitely want to give this one time as of right now, it was just okay to me, but I'll reserve my right to give it an honest... I ain't gonna do a review, but I, I'll tell you what I think about the album in the next couple of weeks when I listen to it a couple more times. Because Future can get witty with some bars. You'd be like, damn, Future said that? Uh, one of the records that is picking up a lot of steam right now, Future's new High Off Life album, it's because he referenced his alleged girlfriend, Lori Harvey, the daughter of mogul Steve Harvey. So on a record called Accepting My Flaws, Future gives it up, bruh. I mean, Future is giving it. This nigga is giving it up. This nigga's in love, love. Like, he's in love, love. He ain't in like, like. Future's in love. This nigga's in love. I don't remember the last time Future name dropped a chick in a record. I'm talking about actually put their legit name out there. I don't even remember him name dropping Sierra that much like that. When they were together, and she's a singer. She's the person name that you should drop. They got music together. On the record card, accepting my flaws, Future said... I'm sitting out on my porch. I'm in disbelief. Give me glory. Give me Lori. That's victory. That nigga praising the name. I'm going to drop your name. So does that mean it's chemistry? Fuck this money and the fame if it's meant to be. Uh, I've heard a couple of my friends say this because they follow the blogs a lot more than I do. If it's not work related, I don't really get into it. Uh, that boy's in love, though. That's what they tell me all the time. And I'm with him. Uh, that nigga's in love. Nigga said, I'm sitting out on my porch. I'm in disbelief. By the way, let's just break this down in totality. If you're sitting out on your porch, you either out of your mind bored or out of your mind stressed. And Future's a very rich man. I don't believe he's out of his mind stressed about his problems. He could put money to most of his problems. This nigga was stressed. So first off, this nigga sitting out on the porch. He's stressed. He's this nigga. And then, and then he confirms the stress in the next uh, three words. He said, I'm in disbelief. So you know the nigga's stressed. He said, give me glory, all right? When I say give me glory, usually I'm in church somewhere. This nigga's on the porch saying, give me glory. Give me glory. Like, forget all that other stuff. Just give me glory. and just Give me glory. She is my glory. Uh, that's victory. Uh, that's victory to him. That's, so now we're comparing Lori Harvey to like this angelic presence. This is this is the second coming of Jesus Christ. He said, I'm going to drop your name. Yeah, so look, this is how much I love you. Look, forget all them hoes. Forget all them hoes. Don't worry about my six baby mama. Don't worry about that. I'm going to put your name in the record so they know it's real. I ain't never put them other chicks in the record. I ain't never name dropped them. You know I'm in love, love. Is, is it chemistry? Is that what's doing this to me? Is it the chemistry? Is it the, What is it about you that's making me do this? I'm on my goddamn porch. I'm in disbelief. He said, fuck this money and this fame if it's meant to be, baby, 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 baby. I'm famous. People want to have sex with me. I've got six baby mamas, baby. Don't worry about that. Fuck that fame shit. Fuck this money shit. We both got it. Your dad is pretty popping. I'm pretty popping. Fuck all that. If it's meant to be, none of this other shit matters. It doesn't matter that I'm sitting on a porch in disbelief. It doesn't matter that I just name dropped Lori Harvey in a record. That matter that I'm 13 years older than you. None of that matters. The blogs don't matter. Give me glory. Give me Laurie. Because that's victory. Um, this nigga's in love. I, look, somebody made the comment online. And I do believe this. If this album is not looked at as a good project for future. If, and, and I'm, not, I'm not wishing this on, bruh. But if him and Laurie don't work out. A lot of fans out there. A lot of future fans are telling me. The project that they looking forward to the most is the next after album, the, the post breakup album. So I'm just putting that out there. I don't y'all let me know what y'all think about the album right now. High off life. I gotta go through and really listen to that bad boy. Hopefully we able to go outside and listen to that bad boy at some point in the near future. But we'll see. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Future's new project, High Off Life. The record I was talking about is called Accepting My Flaws. Alright, and again he's referencing his girlfriend Lori Harvey. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment box below. 
I'm out. He now has 209 Hot 100 entries. So just to put this in perspective, that's more than Jay-Z and Kanye West combined. Nicki Minaj and Chris Brown combined. Taylor Swift and Justin Bieber combined. Elvis Presley and the Beatles combined. Aretha Franklin and James Brown, you get my drift here, combined. As great as Drake has